Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and in this playlist we are talking about Uber Eats clone app and in this video we are going to just discuss about the design like what all things we are going to build. We have identified couple of uh, I mean a set of microservices in the last video but now that the confusion is from where to start and also we need to finalize the technologies we are going to use. My most of the content is in JavaScript client side server side so I'm going to use JavaScript only. We can write the APIs in the Node.js. The front end can be uh, written in any of the framework. I have my preference is uh, I can try Next.js or Svelte. I mean, because in the front end, we are going to build different, different portals. And for managing the repositories, I'm going to use a mono repo this time, Larna, to manage all these uh, different applications in a same code base. So uh, these are like some of the design decisions we have to make. And we have to start from somewhere to uh, define the approach. Either we can start building the, some mockups on the UI, okay, the login page, the restaurant page, the search page, where user can just. So either we can get started from the UI or we can start writing a couple of services. Uh, a well-known service is we can we can start working on the restaurant service. So this can be our first service. Because based on my understanding, this architecture is going to be huge if we end-to-end -end build uh, some kind of a full stack clone, right? There will be a different microservices, multiple microservices. We need to deal with the communications and what all possible microservices we are going to build. We are going to produce a minimal MVP kind of a project, not the end-to-end, -end, even the workable product because that will be very huge. What my objective is to understand the product, build the services and try to mimic the architecture of the Swiggy clone or Uber Eats clone what they are doing. So we can build restaurant service, then we will talk about user service, then either we can use our, we can write our own authentication service, we will have these different database per microservice. So we are going to have these database and we can think of using Postgres that is easily available on Heroku or any other platform so we can just we should be good with the using Postgres and for restaurant service we can start writing uh, the rest APIs and we will we have to make the rest APIs in such a way so that in future if I wanted to plug some GraphQL API gateway in front of rest APIs that should be easy to integrate or couple of the services we can also use a GraphQL so our starting point is first identifying how user is going to authenticate. Either we can write the, our own authentication service or we can use Auth0 because if you see uh, these uh, food delivery app, they just uh, you just need to enter your mobile number, they will give you the OTP and also you can also update your profile with the email. But it's all OTP based uh, login mechanism. Then you enter the mobile number and you enter the OTP and you are and you have entered into the system. So how these different type of authentication works? Like there is a passwordless authentication in Auth0, email, username, password based authentication, and uh, I mean there there are a couple of different ways of authentication. We will just keep it simple. Maybe we will write our own service. You just entered the mobile number, which is mobile number is unique. So. We will just send OTP using Twilio or some uh, external party APIs and we will just generate a token, six digit token. When user enters that six digit token, we will just create a session, maybe a token based session, JWT token based session for a limited duration. And then he can start, uh, there, are, there are a couple of services which will expose the data without even need of a token because restaurant service the data is public because user can start looking for uh, the restaurants and the menus without even getting into the system using login so we need to consider all the the use cases a restaurant service is mostly consumed by the end user the consumer who can just enter the the information so that is a search part search part will be consumed by the end user the consumer who are going to order the food and other part is managing the restaurant data that will be managed by the restaurant owner so we are going to have multiple role 
like a uh, end user which is a read only user he can uh, he can buy food he can just look look here and there uh, in uh, for the restaurant menu but there are restaurant managers who will be able to onboard uh, the new menu item update the description add thumbnails for the menu items update the pricing all these things they should be able to manage so it's like a management is with restaurant manager rest all is the end user who can search and see things so we'll start with the restaurant service meanwhile we will decide what kind of authentication system we are going to have is it like the username password based authentication system every user have can onboard or can log in through the different platform like uh, different auth providers they can log in with the google account facebook account twitter account once they entered into the system their email will be the identifier for us and then they can just buy food but for the food delivery apps most of them are driven through the mobile number so we'll decide on that so first of all then the next part is setting up the mono repo and start building at least one service and then we will we can just think of uh, doing it in the next js and some part in the svelte so next js and svelte both are server side rendered framework in the svelte there is a svelte kit we can use for server side rendering both are like a framework to build a server side rendered app one is in the react one is in another svelte js so svelte js can be an admin app which will be managed by uh, the restaurant managers to actually update the information in the database which is going to be seen by the end user while searching for the food online okay so that is the the two interface we are targeting uh, so i can just write it which is in svelte js okay these are the the two apps which i'm thinking i mean this is overall a learning for me because there are a couple of things which i'm also not aware i will be using svelte kit for the first time and next is i have used it but not extensively so it's all a good learning curve whoever is watching these videos let's uh, design this next year's and swell kit app we will also uh, design the the ui so we can use some kind of a dashboard for the restaurant owners once they log in through uh, authentication system you should be they should be able to manage their data and next year is just a simple rendering platform where you can see and search the restaurant data okay so this is the the primary portions we are starting with the four things user authentication service a restaurant service next js server side rendered app for the end user a svelte kit app for the restaurant owners who are going to manage the restaurant data add menu item remove menu item and update menu items okay uh, let's get started guys no more theoretical session after this and we will start dive into the code